All right, so now in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the voltage booster here. The numbers appear to be harder to see on uh, camera than in person, but it says uh, 3.53 there. So that's boosting up the voltage we have there of about 3.1. And this multimeter here, right now we're looking at the out voltage. We can uh, press this button here and look at the in voltage. If we hold it for about a second, the multimeter turns off. I think the output's still on, but I haven't tested that yet. So we'll uh, get to that. I think that only turns the multimeter off. But uh, in any case, right now we have, that was the voltage in, we have the voltage out. Right here is a trim pot here. One of those ones that you can turn many times. And so first, See if I can, uh, that is blocking your view there. So I got the screwdriver there. First, let's turn it counterclockwise. You can see the voltage is going down. And the power supply is not supposed to go below 3 volts. And the output's not supposed to go below 3.5 volts. So I'm still turning it down. You'll see that uh, the voltage stopped going down. It doesn't go down below the uh, power supply. So it's a booster, so that's to be expected. So let's turn it where we go back up. So right now we have three volts coming in. And uh, let's quickly turn this. We're gonna go to nine volts. I think this is rated for 35 volts output. And you can input a little less than that. Whenever you buy these, make sure you look at all uh, all the numbers and everything for the particular one you're buying and I lost the uh, screw there there we go but you can see we're at six seven eight and it's sliding off again we're gonna go to nine there we go hold it at nine and so we got three volts coming in now at 9, we don't have to hold it at uh, 3 volts. I'm going to move it up to uh, about 8 volts. There we go, 8.4. You can still see that we got 9 volts on, uh, on this. So we got to keep this voltage lower, but uh, we can change it. So if you're using batteries or something and you need to study voltage, this is a good way to not only increase the voltage, the battery is providing but also hold it at that voltage while the battery voltage is dropping now of course I want to start using lithium-ion batteries and unfortunately this seems to uh, only shut off when you get to about uh, 2.5 volts and I don't even know for sure if it's just shut off or just the voltmeter so this alone is not going to protect a uh, lithium ion battery from dropping below 2.5 volts it looks like unfortunately all right so that's all we really needed to look at for the bench power supply we can uh, take a closer look at this right now and uh, you can see right now it's measuring out for the voltage now it's measuring the voltage in so we just press that we hold it down for a second to uh, turn it off I think that's just the voltmeter though I think the output is still on but uh, I don't know for sure, as I said before. So, all right, we're looking at out now. And what I did for in, so we got in there, uh, in positive up there, in negative there. As you can see, that's where I have the black and red. And I just took some wires, uh, stripped them, the uh, ends off, and uh, you just screw those wires down right there. It's really simple. There's also a spot to uh, screw wires for the uh, output, negative and positive. And now I decided I'd add a 470 ohm resistor to the output. We're at nine volts, and uh, 470 ohms is about the uh, minimum amount of resistance you want with nine volts directly across it. So right now we have a load there. We're still holding the voltage there and of course this load's not taking much current I just looked at uh, the uh, website about this on Amazon and 
this uh, can take a 3 to 35 volt input and output 3.5 to 35 volts at the uh, output. And for current, you can have a maximum of 9 current uh, nine amps coming in and uh, 6 amps coming out. That's the numbers I just looked at. But uh, with the resistor as a load, we can take a voltage measurement directly to there. There you can see it's 8.9 volts. So according to this meter, I've been noticing I took some other voltage measurements earlier. And uh, the uh, input and the output both seems to be about a 0.2 volts off or uh, 200 millivolts. That's what it looks like. It looks like I think this one's usually just uh, slightly higher. And there with the thermal you can see how hot the resistor is. And the resistor is the thing limiting the current. There's a little heat there. But uh, for the most part there's the wires, the alligator clips. And uh, so you can tell this board is uh, really doing no work at all right now. And now I dropped the uh, power supply to uh, 2.3 volts. That went off on its own. I didn't turn it off. And we'll see. We got uh, 2.1 at the output. So it's still outputting. And uh, the resistor is letting current run through it. So we know that's not just a capacitor or something holding charge. So uh, the board doesn't turn off looks like when the voltage drops below 2.5 volts it just outputs that voltage alright so that's the end of the video there I got the uh, voltage of the power supply at 3.5 volts it seemed to start flickering and stuff doesn't seem to like below 3.5 volts although sometimes it uh, looks like it's working just fine but uh, at higher currents I bet it gets even worse but in any case that's easier to read in person by far than what it shows up on camera just want to uh, point that out but in any case here's a close-up of this and uh, I'll look I'll try to think up some projects that need more current coming up this was just a low current one but that's probably not a bad idea uh, not damage the board while I'm learning how to use it by uh, keeping the current low but in any case I'll definitely use this in a future project don't know when but I uh, hope to see you in that video too. Thanks for watching.